there is a fear called thalassophobia. This is the fear of deep and large bodies of water. The land that we are standing on right now makes up for only 29% of the Earth's surface area. That means that the other 79% is all water. Studies have shown that only 5% of Earth's oceans have been explored or ever seen by humans. You know what this means, right? This means there is a whole other world here. A world full of undiscovered wildlife, sea creatures, and things that we could never imagine. Fish bigger than buses, depths deeper than our tallest mountains, and so many other things just waiting to be found. Is it dangerous? Yes. But I've heard that it's one of the most beautiful and rewarding things to be done. Diving into this world makes you fight against all of your natural human senses. When you're underwater, you can't breathe, and as you dive deeper, the light fades away into utter darkness. You don't know which way is up or down, and you are in an environment that you can't control. But how often do you get a chance of seeing a world that very few people have seen before? This is the first time for everything show. Guys, today is a very exciting day for two reasons. Number one, I'm checking something off the bucket list I've wanted to do for a very long time, but number two, I get to experience it with my beautiful wife. How do you feel? Well, while you tell them what we're doing first. Why don't you tell them what we're doing first? And then I'll tell you how I feel about it. We're gonna go scuba diving. Yeah. Which I'm excited about, yeah. except for we're training in a lake. She and has, lake freaking, even ocean's kind of freaking She has out. that fear about of, of water, like I like think open spaces of water. But the cool thing is like we're tapping into that. That's what no. the brand is. Like the brand is getting out of your comfort zone, Try a new thing. My ears hurt sometimes in the water, so we're gonna see if I if something happens to my ears. It's gonna be a great time. But the fun part is we're training in Arkansas and um, I think in Beaver Lake. But the reason why we're training is because we're going to Florida in July. We're scuba diving with sharks later in this episode. What? Are you excited? Yeah. Are you scared? Yeah. That's why I like to hear. Let's go. So the ultimate goal is to get you filmed with a bunch of sharks swimming around. So that beautiful voice you just heard, that was CJ. CJ is the owner of Dive for Warriors, which is the nonprofit that made this whole entire adventure possible. But not only that, CJ is our mentor, our sensei, you could say. He's also our life source and our most recent BFF. CJ is a very humble man and also a bit camera shy, so he asked me to keep his face off camera while we made this video. But real quick, I want to tell you a little bit about Dive for Warriors. Dive for Warriors is an independent national scuba nonprofit that was made to support veterans and wounded veterans. And the reason why I'm so passionate about partnering with this nonprofit is because of the passion and genuineness I saw in CJ for serving these veterans the second that I met him. Diving is like therapy, and for veterans, this can be life saving. There are over 22 veterans committing suicide every single day, which is heartbreaking, and also why this is so important. Some of these men have been wounded in combat, and because of that, their bodies don't function fully above water. But when they get underwater, the bodies are able to move and work almost normally because the water takes the weight off of them. Needless to say, this is an awesome and amazing work, and I am so excited and thankful to be partnering with this brand. This video is made to showcase them and the amazing work they are doing, but also to encourage you guys, the viewers, to get out of your comfort zone, dive into the community, and try something new. There is a first time for everything. So the ultimate goal is to get you filmed with a bunch of sharks swimming around. Absolutely. That's the goal, right? Absolutely. Okay, oh here's God. how we're gonna get to the goal. What I'm doing here is teaching you to be able to do that. The only added thing in this is a camera. So I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, man, Christian, I wish I could look as cool as that wearing that wetsuit. But let me tell you something. The agonizing pain that we had to go through every single time to put these wetsuits on, it was ridiculous. When you have muscles as big as mine and legs as big as mine, it's very hard to pull a wetsuit like that over those. There's so much friction and it's so tight. It was so hard. I seriously feel like this may be the equivalent to giving birth. Um, you ladies out there can back me up on this if you want to. Um, just kidding, please don't hurt me. But for real, this was so hard. So here's a clip of me struggling for your enjoyment. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to offer up a little bit of context before we move on. So yeah, we're, we're just gonna walk in. I've never, I've always wanted to know what this feels like with the wetsuit. I know, Super it's curious. Like waterproof. No, that's so weird. Oh, guys. Okay. okay. Now, now, now it's cool. Like now it's cool. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh my goodness, that's no. so weird. It just like it slowly fills up your entire yeah. thing. <laughs> I thought I was gonna keep the water out. I thought I was gonna keep the water out. Okay, here we go. You have to, you have to dunk, dunk the water in. Come on. You gotta dunk it and it'll fill up. Okay, that's great. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh no, so now it's all in there. Okay, so now we'll stay cool, right? Yeah, there we go. Problem solved. I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> We're cool. We're cool. Okay. You're probably thinking, why isn't there more footage of you guys diving in the lake? Well, um, let me tell you why. We were not able to record much at all until around day four or five because CJ wanted us completely focused on learning all the skills we would need to be safe 80 feet down under the water with sharks surrounding us. So we were very focused on those things. 
But here are some pool clips we took. Um, the reason that we took these clips is because, once again, CJ wanted us completely focused on our training without any distractions in the lake. But we want to run through a few of the skills we had to learn and teach y'all them. So the first skill is called partial mask filling. This can be used to clear your mask of fog while you're deep underwater. But if done wrong, you can get yourself into trouble. So start by filling your mask halfway with water and then slosh that round over your lens. Next, you look up, hold the top of your mask and blow out of your nose to drain the water from the mask. And then bam, you are done. Your mask is clear and you can keep on diving. The next skill is no mask breathing. This is very important to know in case your mask gets knocked off or lost for some reason. To do this, just continue to breathe through your air source, but only through your mouth. Do not breathe through your nose because as you can probably guess, that would be no fun. It's pretty simple, but it feels very, very unnatural to do. Okay, next skill. This is the full mask removal and placement underwater. This one stinks. So if for some reason you were to get your mask kicked off by another diver or a shark comes and smacks you in the face and your mask falls off, you want to be able to retrieve it. And when you retrieve it, you put it back on while still breathing. So the way you do this is, is step one, place the mask back on your face and make sure your hair is out of the seals so that your hair isn't leaking water into it. So next, locate your air source and then clear your mask once again. So those are just a couple of the skills we had to learn um, to get certified. But what you guys didn't see was the 30 plus more, um, just as detailed, just as important that are actually important for our safety that we had to learn and memorize. But not only that, we had to read both of these books. Um, these are actually two different certifications. So we got certified in two different things. Um, this one has like over 200 pages. This one has like 70 to 80, just packed full of information. And on top of that, we had to take a test, like a 50 question test that we had to pass to get certified. So. Guys, this was legit, it was a ton of hard work. Um, honestly, the most work I've ever had to do for a video. So all that to say, um, if you're interested in scuba diving or wanting to become certified, don't let that deter you because um, guys, nothing good comes with just easy, lazy stuff. You have to put in the work. It almost always takes hard work. And this is kind of a testament to that. We put in the work um, and it was really hard and really difficult, but this is just here to encourage you. I also want to say thank you so much to one of our sponsors, Flat Branch Home Loans, who sponsored this next section. We could not have done this without you. Thank you so much. We take the second to say thank you so much to one of our sponsors. As you guys know, all these trips and what we do would not be possible without you guys, the businesses who support us. This is from Flat Branch Home Loans, and usually I don't read what they wrote directly from the script, but theirs was so good. I just want to read it for y'all. So what it says is, at Flat Branch Home Loans, we understand the importance of helping those in our armed forces. As a veteran, I understand why we need to do everything we can to assist those who have given so much for us. I'm Charity Cummings, the Senior Mortgage Banker at Flat Branch Home Loans. I'm proud to provide programs to our veterans and active duty military personnel to help them realize the dream of home ownership. Call me today to see if you qualify for a VA loan or our Community Champions Program. So guys, their number's on the screen right now. Give them a call if you think you apply for a home loan or you're trying to buy a home. She is the best in the business. I've known her for a very long time. Charity, Flat Branch Home Loans, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode. We couldn't do it without you. Let's keep going. What is up, guys? We are here. What is this day? I have no idea. We've we've came here a couple times. We've, we've dove around, swam around, um, and we're back. We're back for our training. So today is actually gonna be a really long day of training. Um, I know these clips are kind of been weird because we're not able to record a ton because we're training and having to learn stuff, but um, it, it all piece together. It'll be voiceovers and everything. You, you'll know because you're watching it. But right now, we are following CJ, that's him in front of us, to go fill up um, the, the air tanks so that way we don't die without air. Him is eating Chick-fil-A, not a sponsor. <laughs> and the water is so clear. We, we just got done um, snorkeling around for a bit waiting for him to show up. The water is beautiful. Um, it's so There's warm. So many fish today. Big old fish too. Yeah. So we'll, we'll try to show you some of that, guys. Um, it's really cool. Like when you get in the water, they just swim and follow you. It's so fun. But today's gonna be an awesome day. Um, but yeah, this is the dam, guys. Beautiful. This is a, <laughs> we're underneath that water all today. So fun. Can't wait for Florida. T minus like how many days? A week. A week until we head out for Florida. Woo! We're at our first scuba shop. That's a big deal. There you go. Lift it, girl. Lift it. <laughs> What a man. <laughs> Why are you marching like that? One of the things we had to learn before getting scuba certified was how to assemble and deassemble our scuba kit all by ourselves without any help because this is what you use to stay alive. All these tools and things are what keep you safe, so you have to know how to do it. So here's how to assemble a scuba diving kit. Step one, attach your cylinder to the wing and back plate by clamping the cylinder strap tight around the cylinder. This guy can be very hard to close, but fun tip, if you get it wet before you try and strap it, it makes it so much easier. Next, grab your regulator in second stage. This is how you're going to breathe, so you have to do this right. Screw in the regulator hose to the cylinder valve and make sure it is tight so there is no room for leaks. Next, grab your BCD hose and attach it to your BCD. This is what you will inflate to float, so it's very, very important. After that, turn your air pressure on while pointing your SPG gauge away from you because glass is sharp and you're messing with pressure. Check the air pressure, make sure you have enough for the dive, and then fully open the airway. After that, everything is set, your kit is ready, and you are ready to go. 
Okay guys, I'm about to walk into a food truck for the first time in my life. Here we go. What is up, man? How's it going? Hi. Man, I am here to make a burger. That's what I'm told, right? Uh, I got a couple toppings here that I've got ready for you right here. Okay, so, so I have complete freedom. So the owner's the judge. If the burger's good enough, it's on the menu, right? First time for everything burger. We got some blood, 80% meat, 20% fat. It's strange to just hold raw, raw meat in my hand. So I just slap this sucker down. Just slap it down there. Oh, that feels good. That looks good to me. That looks so good. I think I could do this, guys. I think I, I could live back here. You're a pro, man. Biggest fan of cheese. Well, I didn't burn myself. I didn't burn anything. So I think I think we're doing good. It's like a canvas to paint with. I'm thinking a little bit of sriracha, a little leaf. We want a little bit of. A little bit of barbecue. Now I think we want to balance this with like awesomeness and also with a little bit of health. It's like that. I'm a tomato man. And some lettuce. So we can kind of, you know, appeal to the people who want to be healthy but also want to go on an adventure. You who are spicy, we're going to get a little bit of jalapenos. Two's probably, two's probably a safe number. Each pickle like individually made with love and care. Oh, they smell good. Can I smell that? I take a whiff. I think I'm pretty close to happy. But I think I want to sprinkle a little bit more of this magic sauce right on top. In a good novel, you need fire on the front and the back. Spicy, smoky, eggy, and meaty. Yeah. Well, it's good, huh? I like it. It's yeah. good. Yeah, it, it looks good. Guys, take a look. Take a look. Take a look. It's juicy. You see in there? It's no well pink. It's well done in multiple ways. Yeah. The thing is, you don't have to go home to make this. You can come right here. All their stuff here is so good. Get out. Try new things. Get out in the community. Try the local businesses here. The food truck. You guys are like one of the one of the top button names for catering for food trucks, right? You're killing it. I just talked to the owner, and he said if this burger sells, it will stay on the menu. So as of now, it is going to be on the menu. So guys, we need your help. Come to the food truck. Buy the burger. It's cool. We have our own branded burger. It tastes exactly what we just made. It's so much fun. Come check out the food truck. Come buy the burger. Come see them. Fox Show Distillery. And yeah, rock on. You ready to go? Feeling good? Yeah. Guys, today is our last day to dive. I'm going to fall over In before Arkansas. we head to school last game time. It's a beautiful day. The water is crystal clear. At least it looks like it. So we're hopeful. It's going to look awesome. So we're going to put you in CJ's hands. We're going to swim down to the platform and then go over to a sailboat. Emma and I planned this dive. This is our plan. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to do it. Guys, this video has been um, strange and different and all of the things to put together and to edit because underwater you can't speak. Um, and when we were training, CJ didn't want us to record because we needed to be so focused on everything we were doing. So we didn't get a ton of footage at the lake. Um, but what we're about to watch together is some of the coolest footage that we did get actually going down and diving into the lake and seeing some awesome stuff. So we thought the best way was to kind of watch it together and do a voiceover of what we experienced and what we saw and um, kind of what we remember. So mm -hmm. without further ado, also Emma's here, as you can see, <laughs> she was here with me. So, um, so yeah, let's, let's watch this together. Here we go. But I mean, like, 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 what are your thoughts? Like, like, what do you, what do you remember most or not remember? I think a, a lot of the time I was just trying to make sure my ears weren't hurting. Yeah, which right here, this is us going straight down the line. We're dropping like 30 feet here. When you're doing that, you have to constantly be equalizing your ears because if not, a pain really starts to happen. Which you were way better at doing this part than I was. When you would go straight down, you would just drop. Because I, I just see in a second, I remember, um, my body just is going up and hers is going down. That's because I had to go straight back up here because my ears were hurting like crazy um, because I couldn't equalize. Right when you do that. You have to go back up to the spot to where your last felt good, and you're so sweet. You're like, oh, where did he go? I'm gonna go find him. But um, it's, it's 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 such a surreal thing. It really is. It's a whole different world. Um, but yeah, you you don't love the lake, do you? No, I do not. Because you get to see that. Like, look how messy that is. It is pretty. Yeah. So that right there, that's like 30 feet deep at this platform thing that we get down to. They actually make this for scuba divers to teach and train. So we get down to this platform, and then um, from there on, we just follow this line to get to a really cool ship. Is this the one that had the skeleton? Yeah, so right inside that, that little spot, there's a skeleton. There's like, like a skeleton driving the ship. Um, See, like I know it's fake, and like so that it's it's weird because I know it's fake, but also like it's just weird when you're down there. It's eerie. You're already panicked. Yeah. I mean, me, I was just a little bit on edge because I was nervous. So but gross and all the stuff floating around. Yeah, um, it's moss and yeah. The visibility, um, even at the best of times, it still wasn't great. Um, because honestly, this is not bad. Um, this is this, I guess this is one of the more decent or not so decent days, but. It, it was never great. It was never great. Um, and it is. It's like a, it's like a Pirates of the Caribbean BN movie vibe all the time. I just remember um, it was freezing. Yeah. I was like, I can't keep going. Yeah. But getting to see this kind of stuff, they're like a ship down at the bottom of, of a lake. So cool. Like, so cool. I mean, this, this thing's just been sitting there, all this stuff growing on it. Um, and just know, like, hey, a few people have seen this. Um, we, we get to go see it, too. It was a really cool experience. Um, 
also just watching us back now, um, knowing how far we came and all the stuff that we did, like seeing how we're swimming, like how our arms are moving. Like we, we came so far even since this, even though this, this was the last dive um, before Florida. Like we just got so much better, which is awesome. Look how cute we are, just holding hands. Um, that was my condition. I was like, we have to hold hands the whole time. I mean, like he recommended yeah. that we hold hands, but that was my, I was like, I, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to have to keep track of you, so. Yeah. She doesn't want to keep track of me. Um, that window right there that you're seeing, I tried to swim inside of that because um, I was feeling really confident inside the boat. And CJ, all I remember is just getting whacked in the head because um, yeah, I guess you can't talk down there. He, that was his, it wasn't that no, hard. No, I saw him. He tried to gently yeah. tap you and you weren't yeah. saying it. So. And so he, he just whacked me. He's like, hey, no, 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 don't go in there. You're not ready for that. And I was like, okay, fine. Um, so it's okay. See all those weights on me? There's so many weights we had to wear all the time because we're such light people. It was terrible. So that's the first clip. Um, we're going to show you now the second part, which you weren't a part of because you were at the pirate ship. Yeah, so we went to, as you can see here, it's darker. Cue the scary music. Um, <laughs> yeah, there were mannequins. There were yeah, mannequins so down here. Yeah, so you'll see that towards the end, but at this point we're around 60, 50 to 60 feet deep um, in the lake. And I guess there's this pirate ship there. Someone sunk a pirate ship on purpose just for scuba diving. Um, but look at this, like it's a full blown actual pirate ship in the middle of a lake. <laughs> How cool is that? Like, like that's insane, like those are sails and stuff. And, like when you're down there, it's honestly, it's hard to register that this is actually real. We're actually seeing this. Um, it's mind blowing. It's mind blowing. I'm gonna lower this audio just a little bit so they can't hear it. But I just saw, I was so excited. I was like, man, like, cause like this, this is kind of the benchmark of the lake. Like, like this is one of the hardest spots we were gonna get to. Um, it's just crazy. It's surreal. How do you think you would have done down there if you would have made it? I don't know. I don't think. I don't know. I feel like I would have been okay, but I would, I would have been like. Whenever you're ready, we can go back to the top. Yeah. So um, there's there's things called thermoclines. Um, basically, I think there's one at 30 feet and one at 50 feet. It, it kind of varies from lake to lake, I believe. But basically, when you hit it, you can literally put your hand down to, to the water below you, and it is the most crazy thing because the the temperature difference is insane. So down here, this is our second thermocline to hit. So it was absolutely freezing, freezing. Um, I wasn't thinking about it because this was so fascinating. Yeah, I would have been so thinking cool. about that first. But, but yeah, I mean, like, like if, if CJ were to get around 10 feet away from here or so, I literally couldn't see him at all, um, <laughs> which, was, which, was, which was scary. And this is my first time to ever dive without Emma um, right beside me. So I was like, man, if he were just for some reason to get too far away from me or to leave me in the dust because he's so fast, which he wouldn't do on purpose, but on accident, then I would literally be alone. Um, and I'd have to figure out how to get back to the surface all by myself. This part right here, I remember. I remember saying, hey, that's the tip of the boat. Like, mm -hmm. when else do you get to touch the tip of a boat? So I was like a kid on a mission trying to get towards this thing. Excuse me in a second. I wanted to touch it so bad. Um, and I remember, I'm like, I'm going for it. I'm going to touch that tip <laughs> of that boat. Um, it was just crazy. It was such a, I, I know I said it a lot, such a surreal thing. Um, nothing like it. Nothing like it. And I'm so glad that we got to take you guys into this world too. But if you think this is cool, wait until we actually get to Florida, which is in the next video coming up. Um, where we were there solely to film. We didn't have to train or anything. Um, man, we have hours and hours of footage featuring the coolest wildlife I've ever seen in my life. Um, it was mind-blowing, it was fascinating. But but yeah, I just wanna thank y'all for bearing with us um, on this video because it was so different and so unique. Um, and just, we had, to, we had to really figure out how to do this and how to really still commentate and make a story out of it while, while still doing everything right and well. Um, yeah. So this is my first time to ever practice swimming underwater. And in this clip, um, I was like, I gotta get this down before we go to Florida. But um, we, we, we were down there for probably a good 10, 20 minutes, and then um, we started heading back. But if you listen to how hard I'm breathing, um, I was so out of breath because he was so fast, and I was trying to keep up. And once again, I knew Emma wasn't there, so I was all by myself. I was like, if he leaves me, I, I'm stuck. There was one guy behind me, I believe. Um, Brad was there. But still, it, it was just creepy. Um, yeah. But man, if you're out of air, it's no good. And like, these dudes that we're with, they can last so long on just one thing of air, which we got better at, but yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Oh, there's the mannequin. You see it? Uh, they literally just had mannequins see, floating in the water. The, the first time that we attempted right there. To, yeah, the first time we attempted to go on the pirate ship, I was trying to go with them, yeah. and we got to where these mannequins were. So I'm over here. I feel the thermal climb, so my body immediately like panics. And then I look up, and there are just floating mannequins yeah. all around it's us. It's like so Davy like, Jones' locker, like, like, like <laughs> legit. It's crazy. It's crazy. It was so cool. So cool. Um, yes. Yeah, so now we're, we're back to the platform. That's kind of the, the benchmark of where you go. But um, but yeah. So so that that was, that was honestly our coolest dive in the lake. Um, the lake was meant to train us. It was meant to get us ready, to get us prepared, to make sure we know what we are doing without a doubt when we're in the ocean. Because there are so many different 
variables and different changes that happen in the ocean that, that you can't control. It's a whole different world. Even salt water in itself, it makes you float way more in. When it gets in your mouth and your eyes, it burns. Um, so, so yeah, so CJ was really, really focused and adamant on actually te teaching us to dive. Um, we actually learned how to dive. We got certified completely. Um, crazy, crazy. So what you're about to see in this next video is insane. Um, insane. But this part, this whole process, I mean, it was what, two months? Two months of us. Well, that was the crazy thing is normally it would, it would be more drawn out. So for yeah. us, it felt like we were cramming all of this yeah. into two months. In the midst of the rest of our lives too, so many other shoots and things that we're working on. Um, yeah, it was really hard work, really hard work, but um, I promise you it was worth it. Uh, I want to thank y'all once again for sticking with us. Thank you to all of our sponsors for this video and the next video. Um, guys, next Saturday at 10 o'clock, you don't want to miss it. Uh, it's going to be nuts, so much awesome footage. So I'm just going to roll kind of the, the last trailer for the next video. And then uh, I guess after that, we'll, we'll see you in the next one, right? You want to you, you wanna whoosh them out? All right, I can never do it as good as you. <laughs> see you guys on the flip side. This is one of the greatest and craziest experiences and adventures of our lives, and I'm so excited to share the rest of it with you. So guys, tune in next Saturday at 10 o'clock to experience this whole new world with us. We've encountered everything from stingrays, eels, sea turtles, sharks, 80 plus foot depths, boats breaking in the middle of the ocean, people getting lost on dives, and so much more. The trip that we are about to embark on will have your jaw on the floor.